Hey everyone, it's Be Divine and thank you for subscribing to this wonderful channel, Divine Miracles, and being here with me today. And I'm not sure when you're seeing this, but I know it will be just the right time. And I'm going to do a messages from the Animal Spirit Guides. <laughs> Alright, can't you read? <laughs> the Animal Spirit Guides. Alright. And we don't know what's going to come up, but we know it's a message for each one of us. And I'll do my best to stay on track <laughs> and talk about the actual card. Sometimes I've just got to have it where, um, you know, I just feel this energy moving forward in like some kind of direction. And sorry, I feel like I'm going to hiccup. <laughs> no, just burp. Okay. <laughs> sorry, everyone. But I feel like this direction and then I'm like, Whoa, I've got to tell you guys all about it. And I'm like... You know, and then I've totally realised that I haven't given you the other half of the actual card. But whatever, whatever comes out, we are meant to hear. So I'm grateful to be with each one of you. I've just done this healing meditation, so like I'm feeling like really cool. <laughs> so if <laughs> if you go over to my divine healing channel, um, so I've got two channels. Did you know that? <laughs> anyway, if you go over to there, you'll be able to follow me through this amazing thing that I did on the spot and. Um, it's just made me feel totally free, like joyful, which is wonderful. All right, back on track. The messages from your animal spirit guides. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> this is funny because I actually recorded myself talking about this particular card but I haven't uploaded it yet so here we go chimpanzee all right and it just makes sense because I'm giggly okay use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem or get answers to your question and laugh and be silly the whole way through it okay chimpanzee working with us all all right when your intuition and intellect are in harmonious accord with each other, there's no problem that you can't resolve. The combination emerges as creative intelligence, an elegant blend of your capacity for reasoning coupled with a deep trust in your gut feelings. In the flow of thought and action that results in resolving your question or problem this way, you may surprise yourself as to how simple and effective the answer really is. Your intuition is actually a constellation of physical cues that respond to the subtle body language, voice intonations and energetic quality of the people or situations around you. Often felt in your gut but not confined to that area. It's your instinct communicating an aspect of your animal nature that's cued into your survival and growth. You can best access this instinctual wisdom by breathing slowly and steadily and focusing your attention on the physical sensations that you notice. In addition to your intuitive feelings, get more information on which to base your choices by doing some research. Consult books, the internet, other types of oracles and or discuss the issue with a friend. Uh, often when you walk away from the problem or question after intensely researching or thinking about it, an unexpected insight surfaces that helps you discern the best choice among all the possibilities. When there's congruity between mind and intuition, coupled with a healthy dose of patience, you tap into the deeper wisdom of source. So the associations with the chimpanzee is laughing, <laughs> problem solving, agility, insight, wisdom, intuition, dexterity, tool making, harmony, intelligence, cooperation, communication, affection and playfulness. So what we're being asked here is there is some situation going on in your life right now that is causing you undue stress. All right, it's causing your body, body, <laughs> your body to be totally out of whack. And when that happens, we get issues going on. When we're not listening to our intuition, we will fall on our face at times. Okay, but this card is saying that not only should we listen to our intuition, but to have a fullness 
of experience in our life, we need to do some research ourselves. And we need to look things up ourselves and go back to old fashioned reading and taking notes. You know, <laughs> we are so lucky that we've got the internet full of information, you know, and advice and everything's going on. But, you know, for a long, long time, I would sit and study any metaphysical book, any angel book, any guide book, anything, anything, anything spiritual I could get my hands on. And I wouldn't know when I'd be able to get that book again. And so I would be writing practically everything out in that book, you know, like I had to have it. But this is the difference between myself and a lot of other people that are on the same path, like teaching or doing readings for people or whatever, is, is I've done just so many years of actual study on my own accord and written volumes and volumes of information which has allowed me to retain that information and it comes up at some times you know that the, the information is just sitting there and it comes forward at times when I really need it and so with your intuition you are tapping into that which you already know as well as higher wisdom so the two really do need to go together. It needs to be a balance. And when you can do that, then you can change everything going on in your life. But we need to bring laughter and happiness and joy back into our souls, you know. This is missing from so many people. Uh, waking up in the morning and begrudging the whole day ahead doesn't change anything. It just lowers your vibration lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. Our spiritual journey doesn't have to be hard at all. It's got to be fun, all right? It needs to be exciting. We need to know we're not perfect. We don't need to be perfect. And, you know, there's nothing that we can't do. But we need to trust this process of, you know, of being within ourselves, following our intuition, and understanding that when we were born into this physical body that we've got at the moment, when we were born, it's like our whole life, we have been trying to recreate the love and the um, completeness and the acceptance of home, of being on the spiritual side. It's like we're trying to recreate that. It might be um, in another person, in a perfect relationship or in a job or something. We want to feel that all loving and that all in encompassing feeling of joy and bliss and love that we had when we're on the other side. We're trying to find it. The idea is we, all we have to do is remember that it's there for us all the time, that it exists within our body. It exists within us. We can tap into it. You know, we can change our entire experience by doing that so this chimpanzee card comes up to say let's have fun you know let's enjoy the intuition and the intellect and let's put the two together and away we go but let's also remember the infinite spirit of what we are okay that means we don't have to compare ourselves with anyone else we don't have to care what they're doing over there we don't have to care how everyone else has got to the point where they're at we just got to care about ourselves, reconnect with all that is, because that is who you are. You're not anything other than a beautiful spiritual being, no matter what anyone says. And you can heal anything in your body in that way. You can charge ahead on your soul purpose and expand yourself so much by doing those things and believing in yourself. So I hope by listening and by um, being on this journey together, that we're shaking each other on the shoulders and going, you know, we can do it, we can do anything, we can do this. We're together on this, you know, we're connected for a reason. We are one. We just focus on ourselves and where we're going and what we want to do and letting go of crap and, you know, releasing and all the stuff that we're always doing and, you know, knowing that stuff is going to come and throw itself in our face and we step over it and we blast it away from us and we don't let anything hang on to us anymore this is where we're at so i hope that you enjoy the message of the chimpanzee and the little bit of extras but uh, please know that i'm on this journey with you every step of the way and if you don't have anyone on your side you know you've got me okay and um, i'm the little black sheep that 
He's the kind of the weirdo of the family or whatever. And I love it. I used to hate it. I love it now because, you know, that's their journey and uh, they miss out on so much fun. <laughs> and I get to have it all by myself now, so it's even better. But, um, you know, like-minded people will come your way and, you know, you'll be able to lift each other and grow and be in peace and harmony and joy in your life and it will just be awesome. So, let's go listen to the wisdom of the chimpanzee. Do some research now, following your intuition, but do some research so you can feel more knowledgeable and grounded and, you know, secure in your life, which is always wonderful. So until the next video, thank you for listening. Please check out my website full of articles and information and freebies and all kinds of things. And um, let me know what kind of videos you guys would like and away we go. So till the next video, goodbye from me. Many, many blessings and much love. Bye everyone.